where am I? No, why am I in Akira's bed? Yusuke, Futaba. What the hell happened last night? I definitely drank more than I should have. That's a starting point. It was all Futaba's fault. It's nothing too difficult for a guy like you. I do not have much of a choice anyways. What do you want? Simple! We need you to use your silver tongue to convince Sojiro and my mom to leave LeBlanc for the whole weekend. You're gonna help us get LeBlanc to ourselves. All you have to do is convince them to take a break. You're asking me to deceive them? What do you expect me to say? I don't know. That's your specialty, isn't it? Come up with some excuse, anything that'll get them to leave. Just make it believable. If you don't, or if you fail, your collection is mine. Even the first editions. You wouldn't want that, would you? Fine, I'll do it. Anything else? Actually, yes! Since you didn't come to the last three previous ones, you're gonna come to our little party with Mona, and you're gonna actively participate. No brooding in the corner, no downing sarcasm, no questions asked. You are blackmailing me into socializing. Bingo! So do we have a deal? Is it Akira's idea? I said no questions asked. Careful, Akichi, your collection is on the line. Or your aesthetically pleasing, dirty little secret. All right, I'll go to your party. But when this is over, we'll have a little chat, me and you. Boss, Dr. Ishiki, I've been meaning to talk to you about something important. Oh, what's on your mind, Akechi? Is everything all right? I came across this opportunity, and I couldn't help but think of you two. I've heard about a special weekend getaway that's perfect for couples. It's a limited time offer, and I managed to secure a reservation for you both. Huh, that's quite thoughtful of you, Akechi, but why would you do that for us? Well, I've been feeling grateful for all the support you've given us, and I thought it'd be nice to give something back. Besides, I'm sure Futaba would be thrilled to see her parents spending quality time together. Ah, uh, that's sweet of you. What do you think, Sojiro? It does sound tempting. It's been a while since we've had some time to ourselves, but what about LeBlanc? We can't just leave it unattended for a whole weekend. Don't worry about that. I've already talked to the others. And we'll take care of LeBlanc in your absence. Consider it a token of our appreciation for everything you do. If you're sure, I think it sounds like a wonderful idea. We could use a break. All right, you've convinced me. Thanks, Akechi. We'll take you up on that offer. Hello, everyone. I'm here, as demanded. Oh, Akechi-kun. It's nice to see you here. We were starting to think you wouldn't show up. And good evening, Morgana. How have you been? Whoa, you actually came! That's a surprise! Hi, Mona! Told you he'd show up, didn't I? Thanks, guys. I'll try to have a good time. Hello, everyone. Oh, come on, Akechi. Of course you will. We're all here to have fun together. I I'm glad you're here as well, Morgana. The presence of both of you here is a welcome addition to our gathering. Akechi, Morgana. Just don't expect me to suddenly become the life of the party. By the way, Akira isn't here. Akira shouldn't be long. He's gone to buy the drinks. Akechi-kun, would you like to try some of these snacks I made? I think you will enjoy them. They are stuffed with turkey. Oh, you remember? Thank you, Harusan. I'll give them a taste. Hey, everyone. I'm back with drinks to liven up the party. There's beer, sake, gin, whiskey, pear liquor, sodas, juices, and white wine. Help yourselves. Dude, you really went all out. Oh, this is going to be a fun night. Remember to be moderated, please. Some of us are still underage after all. If my family knew... Yes, please drink responsibly, everyone. I can't believe you actually managed to get all of that. Could I have some too? I do not think it would be advised, Morgana, but we have plenty of sushi to compensate. You brought alcohol, Akira. This is quite the selection. Yeah, figured it would be a nice way to break the ice. Want one? I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> sure, why not? I'll take a glass of white wine, please. That's the spirit, Akechi. Let's have a great time tonight. You knew about this, didn't you? Maybe. But hey, we're all here to have a good time, right? Here's your wine. So, Goro, you survived Morgana? You should ask the other way. I never thought I would miss your cooking so much. 
All right, everyone, gather round. I've got a fun game for us to play tonight. Cards Against Humanity. We've got a special deck customized just for our group, thanks to Mishima. And to make things even more interesting, we'll turn it into a drinking game. I'm only familiar with Tycoon and a bit of poker. Could you explain the rules for me? Of course. It's simple. One person is the card czar for each round. They'll draw a black card with a sentence that has a blank in it. Everyone else will have a hand of white cards with different phrases on them. Your job is to fill in the blank with the funniest, most fitting, or just plain weirdest card from your hand. Once everyone has chosen their card, the card czar will read the sentence with the chosen phrases and decide which one they think is the best. The person who played the winning card gets a point. I see. So it's a game of humor and creativity. How does the drinking part come in? That's the best part. If your card isn't chosen, you gotta take a drink. And if the card czar can't pick a winner because they're all too funny, everyone takes a drink. But remember, Mishima made sure that the deck is clean and full of inside jokes and fun references to our group. No inappropriate content here. Unfortunately, she's right. The game is usually way wilder than the edition we have. We can't help it, I guess. All right, I'm in. Let's give it a try. Perfect. I'll be the card czar first. The most powerful weapon we could use against a common enemy is... Take your time to choose a good one. A well-timed sneeze. Ryuji's lack of volume control. Anne's dressing room extended visit. Akichi's fan base on social medias. I... I'm in this game too? Of course you are. And I'll have to go with Ryuji's lack of volume control. Losers drink. Ha! Huh, that's right! Akira's favorite pastime is... Crashing parties. A cake decorated to look like a giant plate of curry. Futaba's all-night gaming marathon fueled by energy drinks. Trying to teach Morgana how to use a litter box. Hey! <laughs> I'll definitely choose the last one. The weirdest thing Ryuji has ever done to impress a girl is... A karaoke marathon featuring only Anne's favorite pop songs. An unfortunate typo in a love letter. Trying to win an eating contest against Kasumi. Shouting for real on top of Mount Fuji. For real? There's this card? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone drinks because I can't choose. Cheers! All right, my turn. Pour me another sake, please. Okay, Ryuji, truth or dare? Dare! Hand me over another beer. Mm, I dare you to do a handstand for 30 seconds. Easy. Okay, here goes. It is rather impressive to perform this figure with four glasses of beer in the system. Show off. Futaba, truth or dare? Truth. All right, what's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? Uh, I once accidentally sent a meme to Sojiro instead of the group chat. It took a lot of explaining. Akechi, truth or dare? Truth. What was the last dream you remember about? I was fighting a malevolent god that took control of the whole world, and I won in an epic battle all by myself. That's a sick dream, dude! Akira, truth or dare? Dare. I dare you to give Akichi a hug. W what You can't be serious. Oh, I'm up for it. Come here, Goro. You guys are too cute! Makoto, truth or dare? Dare? I dare you to speak in rhymes only for the rest of the game. Of course, you drink every time you forget. I can do that without breaking a sweat. Haru, truth or dare? Truth. Who is your favorite boy in the group? I do not have any favorite. I like you all equally. You need to pick one, or it's a forfeit. Oh, in that case, Morgana. Ah, oh, Haru, you're too sweet. Akechi, truth or dare? Dare for a change. I dare you to express your feelings to Akira. I, I beg your pardon. What's the matter, Goro? I'll take the forfeit, bottoms up. Wow, he really didn't want to do that dare. Interesting, isn't it? Ah, oh, no fun. All right, Akechi, your turn. Pick someone. Akira, truth or dare? Dare, of course. I dare you to do your best impersonation of Anne. Guys, check out this new winter collection. Aren't those strap leather jackets cute? It's quite on point, I can't deny it. We continued the game for a while. I remember everything so far. Then Ryuji started mixing drinks. I was starting to feel the effects of alcohol in my body, but I think Ryuji's was one drink too many. Yeah, after that, everything is blurry. Akichi, bro? Truth or dare? Dare. Just remember, Akichi, you brought this on yourself. Okay, Akichi, I dare you to chug this drink in one go. Seriously, that's it. I j just did a, a bottom-up five minutes ago. Really? Akechi, the drink Ryuji prepared is quite potent. Be cautious! 
Fine. Challenge accepted. He did it. Ouch. That was stronger than I expected. Impressive, Goro. Oh my god, I love this song. I love it so, so much. The timing is perfect. Turn it up, please. Are you sure you're okay, Akechi? Of course. It'll take more than that to bring me down. Now, Akira, my boy. Truth or dare? Dare. Then I dare you to dance with me, if you can keep up with my moves, bitch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god. Akechi? Coming, honey. Kira, wake up. Mm, uh. Oh, hello there. Good morning, Akira. Tell me, what happened last night after the truth or dare game? You don't remember anything? The last thing I accurately remember is this strong drink Ryuji gave me. After that, it is a bit blurry. Well, you had quite the night. You dared me to dance on the table with you. Then you fell and passed out for 20 minutes or so. You felt a bit better after that, and asked for a coffee. That doesn't sound like me at all. But now that you mention it, it comes back. What else did I do? Well, then you played a game with Makoto for half an hour. And though no one understood the rules, you seemed to be having a blast. Pancakes. Haunted house. Fist. Coffee. Chess. Justice. Sister. Loki. Horse. Motorcycle. Detective. TV. Uh, what's going on here? Not now. We're busy, Akira. Billiards. Treasure. Delicious. Pancakes. Wait, no, oh shit. Ha <laughs> ha, I won, I won. Oh yes, that was actually pretty fun. It did not seem to last that long, however. There's more. You got into an argument with Ryuji over haircuts. It got pretty heated, actually. Haircuts? Seriously? I don't recall having any sort of argument with anyone. Please hold my gin and tonic. Hey, Ryuji! Wanna do a dance-off? Man, I'm too effin' wasted for that. I... Oh god, I'm gonna throw up. I feel it! I drank way too much myself, but who gives a shit? I can drink way more than you, it's just a matter of endurance. What are you talking about endurance, dude? I'm a pro track runner. While you take more time to tie your hair than to actually run, dude, says the guy who looks like he got his hair cut by a lawnmower. And what's with this color? You'll never get a girl with that, you know? A, a lawnmower? At least they doesn't look like they are licked into place by Mona every morning. <laughs> what did you just say, you fucking light bulb? It gets better. After that, you decided to head home, but you got lost, and I found you in front of the arcade in Shibuya, arguing with a dog. I... I argued with a dog? This can't be real. Hey, you dog! You think you're so smart, huh? Just because you can wag your tail and look all cute? You kinda look like Akira now that I think about it. Come over here! 
You think you can just bark your way out of this? I'm on to you, dog. Stop barking. You think that's intimidating? I've taken down people for way less. I've seen things that would make you whimper, Akira-chan. Goro, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Akira! What the hell are you doing here? I was trying to find you. You wandered off, and we were worried. I was going home, but this scumbag disrespected me. It's just a dog, Goro. It doesn't look like it's causing any harm. Come with me. Let's go back. You dare give me orders? You should be on a fucking leash! Oh shit, get out of the way, I'm gonna vomit. Afraid so. And to top it all off, I had to hold your hair back while you threw up on my shoes. I'm... I'm so sorry, Akira. I don't know what came over me. But now I remember cleaning myself and brushing my teeth. And then we both chatted for a while. Just you and me, right? Yeah, we are chatted. What did we talk about? Did I say something I shouldn't have? Let me see. <sighs> Wanna play it like this? Don't know if I'll be able to contain myself. Come here, you piece of shit. Does it ring a bell now? Yeah, yes, I remember something like that, but don't tell me we... No, we didn't. You tried, but I didn't let you. You got upset and threw a few punches at me for a while, but eventually you passed out again. I carried you to bed and joined you shortly after. I don't even know what to say. All in all, it was the best birthday party I've had in my entire life, thanks to you. Your birthday? I thought you didn't have any canonical date of birth. That's true. But Futaba randomly chose a day for me. That's quite unusual considering nobody gave you any presents. The others didn't know about it. It's between me and her. I never really cared much about celebrating it. But Futaba asked me what I wanted, and I said the best gift would be your presents. I had a feeling you were behind it all. She said, all right, leave it to me. I don't know how she pulled it off, but I'm grateful. She was persuasive. I didn't expect you to get wasted, though. Neither did I, to be honest. I miss you. A lot. I want us to keep spending time together. It would only complicate things for you in the end. It will be hard, regardless. I want to enjoy every second of our time together, no matter how it ends. I dare you to look me in the eye and tell me you didn't have a good time last night. I won't be drunk when I face Maruki. And if you get in my way, I will not hesitate to kill you. You would certainly try. Your self-confidence is admirable, Akira. But... As your friends once said, you were able to defeat me at my full power only by teaming up. So the dueling rematch is back on the table? You really are unbelievable. It takes one to Shut know- Shut up! The two sing DDS deeds Don't tell you devil in darkness So I'll advise you defeat If you want it, hell, I will find you I am deep in your mind You haven't figured it out I'm predicting your moves Just when you think you put up to me I am two steps in front See, this is my special move I put myself in your shoes Detective. 